Hi, I'm Ben from PSPC, and today we're going to be looking at uh, Seagate's latest high-end uh, NVMe SSD, uh, the Fire CUDA 530. Um, in the video, we're going to be looking at kind of the general overall specs of the drive, as well as how it kind of competes with other uh, drives in its class. So the, the drive itself comes in many different capacities to meet your needs. It kind of comes in the general kind of 500 gig, which is kind of a good standard at the moment, as well as one terabyte, two and four terabytes as well. Uh, it also comes in a non heat sink, which is what we use for our testing today, but you can get a version that does come with a heat sink and have the initial heat for the drive itself. All right, so I suppose if we uh, crack into the drive and have a look and see what we get. Um, generally, with these kind of M.2 drives that you do get, packaging is quite large, but what it does mean is you get quite a well protected device when it comes in to your hands, whether it's coming from Amazon or somewhere like that. Um, you get kind of your standard sort of booklet information all in the back there, as well as a few stickers if you kind of want to put them on your system show the drive what you got in there. Um, one thing I do actually quite like about this drive particularly is it comes in a static bag, which is actually quite crucial for these kinds of components as they are quite sensitive to electro kind of static shocks, things like that. The plastic is quite notorious for that. Um, but generally it's kind of quite simple packaging, all that sort of thing. But the drive itself uh, being what they are, it's an M.2, they're not particularly fancy this, as this one's non-heatsink, you kind of get your general information on it where you put your written information of your uh, barcode, all that sort of stuff, and drive capacity, that sort of thing. So looking at the drive spec sheet, it's actually quite impressive in terms of what it's capable of doing. Um, starting with its speeds particularly, it can be looking at sort of seven gigabytes on average read and write speeds, um, which is a kind of stand or becoming standard but ever increasing for Gen 4 drives. Uh, on average those speeds tend to work out about two times faster than a Gen 3. Uh, storage you might already be using and they're also roughly about 12 times faster than the standard SATA SSD uh, which is insanely fast given what you might be using it for like say for a boot drive that gives you insane boot speeds uh, as well as fast copy and pasting and reading write speed for anything you might be doing. Uh, to actually gain access to the kind of specs that we're talking about with your Gen 4 uh, kind of speeds on there you do need to be using one of the latest motherboards whether you're choosing Intel or AMD. Um, so for the AMD side you're looking at X570 or B550 uh, the Intel side of things, you're looking at maybe Z590 or Z690, uh, as well as B660, uh, to kind of, kind of say, get the most out of your drive. Um, the actual drive itself as well is one of the first to be kind of known to be compatible with PS5 as well, so you can put it in there and get extra storage and get access again to those high speeds for your kind of gaming library. Also, in terms of the blazing fast speeds that you get on the drive itself, uh, it also comes with a very high endurance rating. So what that means in terms of endurance for a drive like this uh, is it means it's great for frequently updating files and that sort of thing. Like say if it's a forever changing gaming library, if you're still installing the latest titles and having to delete older ones, uh, as well as if you're a content creator, uh, constantly uploading video and audio files, things like that. Uh, it's amazing for keeping an eye on those things and you're gonna have a drive that's gonna, gonna last you in time. As well as the kind of impressive specs that the drive comes with out of the box, uh, CK also offers an extensive five year warranty, uh, as well as a three year data recovery service with a 90% success rate of any data recovery that may be lost in that, in that time. Um, but generally to help keep you happy with your drive and keep everything safe on them, they do also offer a suite of tools uh, like Disk Wizard and C Tools, um, just so you can yourself keep track of your drive and scan it regularly and make sure you're not uh, having any corrupted uh, segments or anything like that on there. So we've already talked about all the specs of the drive. Um, so let's see how it uh, kind of compares to its leading competitors. Um, we actually ran a series of tests for uh, some number of drives in the same kind of category. Um, we used a series of using things like Crystal Mark as well as kind of general read and write tests under certain conditions, looking at things like temperatures and overall speeds. Uh, so let's check them out. Looking at the uh, first Crystal Mark speeds that we did for the Fire Cooler itself. Uh, you can see it did actually hit the seven gigabytes a second speed as advertised uh, on the read speed at least anyway um, but the write which is always kind of hard to hit and it still hits an impressive 6.7 gigs a second so if we compare the uh, results from the fire cuda tests uh, looking at the two drives we used to test which uh, were an sn850 and a samsung 980 evo uh, you can see that the 530 was actually faster than both our other test drives in both read and write speeds with the SN850 coming close on the read, um, but surprisingly the 980 Evo being the slowest of the bunch. One of the other tests that we also ran with all of our drives was a uh, basic endurance run just to see how hot the drive would get in uh, kind of some standard everyday usage. 
uh, to, uh, to test this, we copied across a gaming library file and uh, a large document containing a combination of video and image files. Uh, and in our testing, uh, out of all of the drivers, again, the 530 did end up running uh, the most efficiently in terms of speed, given that it transferred speed to where the fastest, uh, as well as actually operating the coolest out of all of them. Uh, even with the non-heating version, only hitting around the sort of 45, 50 degree margin when both of our other drives hit uh, the kind of low 60s. So, some final thoughts on the device itself. I think in terms of the positives, that five year guarantee is absolutely amazing, especially with the three year data recovery that you get. It gives you an amazing, great peace of mind for uh, anything you might have on there in terms of personal files or large video libraries that you might be keeping on there for content creation. It'd be the worst if you lost any of that. So having that is an amazing plus. Um, the speeds that you get as well for the device, especially coming out on top of all of our testing is, is amazing. With that seven gig per second being true to word as well. Um, the only thing I can think of that is a bit of a downside is the price tag. But then again, these kinds of things do come with a price tag if you want the extra performance and you have to spend the money. Um, but it would make a great addition to any kind of mid to high range system that you might be planning on building or you want to buy. Um, if you want to see some of our recommendations, you can check out some of our systems in the link below, uh, as well as sending us your thoughts on the device. What do you think? Uh, do you think it's worth the money? Do you think the speeds are good? Um, just let us know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as checking us out on our social channels, which will all be linked as well.